Hey, it's UPB here from OptionMillionaires.com. It is June 14th, 2012. It's a Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Weekly option. Weekly options. The last day to trade them is tomorrow. It was a great week at OptionMillionaires.com. Alerted the U.S. Steel calls right at the low, just about. Uh, U.S. Steel those calls I alerted via text message went up between 50 and 75 percent, depending on what strike you bought and how quick you bought in and got out. It's a nice alert. I also had GDX puts yesterday, $47 strike, alerted them 41 cents. They hit 98 cents this morning. GDX fell off a cliff, then recovered. But once again, you have to be nimble on those trades. You can't be holding for the moon. Uh, JP Morgan, $34 puts I alerted yesterday, $0.17. Cents. I actually got in those, and I got out at about $0.38 cents just before the close of trade yesterday. It was a nice alert. Uh, over 100% from top to bottom had you bought in perfectly. So let's get into today's action. Today's action. Oh, yes. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And stocks, they moved higher. I was in calls. I got out. I was 100% cash, waiting to make a move. Maybe I wouldn't make a move. Sometimes cash is the best place to be, especially in this wild market, centrally planned market, where stock prices are more uh, based more on what the Fed, central banks are going to do than basically what the economy is, right? So right here, see this? We got weak, just like we did yesterday. We hit resistance again. I was pointing out in the chat room, and I got into caterpillar puts. That's like woohoo! We're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday, and we started to. We started to roll over. Stock started to get weak, weaker, 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 weaker. My caterpillar puts that I got in at 50, 50 cents, I believe, they were almost a double. They hit like ninety-two cents. And considering the weakness we saw yesterday, I saw no reason to believe that we wouldn't see anything other than more weakness today. And yesterday was about the last 10 minutes before we actually rallied off the lows. I was even, I would have been happy just hitting down here. I was willing to risk it. I bought maybe $300 worth. And sure enough, I went to get a drink of water. I came back to this unbelievable ramp. Look at that. Bing! This is a rumor. Yes. It's not a GDP number. It's not a retail sales number. This is a rumor of liquidity the bazooka the grenade whatever they call it now they're going to call it the nuclear bomb that they will just bomb the markets with money Ooh, not a helicopter they're going to drop them out of they'll drop them out of i don't know blimps we'll think of something a little more creative needless to say stocks ramped and those who bought uh puts based on weakness they've been seeing uh in certain chart setups we're just you know bamboozled <laughs> i was <laughs> i was pissed but i was only in one position i was playing it small as you should be in this manipulated marketplace on the other side of the coin had the trade worked in my way in, <laughs> in the direction i was positioned i would have been happy doing cartwheels that's just the way it works but it just goes to show you you can't you can't especially in an option that's expiring tomorrow the option i bought uh you can't be holding on too long now I was only holding on based upon what I was seeing uh, from yesterday and today, how we hit that resistance line and weren't able to break through it. And in the span of 30 seconds, we blasted through it. <laughs> and at that stage, I was actually going to add more puts up at the top. And I'm glad I didn't because who knows what's going to happen. Tomorrow we could open down 2%. Who knows? The point being, you just got to be nimble and play with only money, you know, that you're comfortable losing should the central banks do something uh and it could go either direction I, I played puts i was playing calls today well i played calls earlier this week i played puts yesterday so it's not like i'm playing the market any direction right now we're chopping around in a range chop 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 and you can look 134 see that number that's what we hit today at the spy now look this is important why i leave my lines up here support resistance levels look at this line here 134 you go back that's the top of the bear flag we saw before hitting further weakness. So that's also some very serious resistance. And that's aligned in the sand again. So should we break that? Uh, we could be looking now. I'm also pointing out we have what's the making of, if you turn this upside down, 
Uh, this would be a head and possibly two shoulders here. I would have liked to have seen stocks fall a little farther down to say 130, 129 in the SPY, which they very well may. But if they don't, uh, just keep your eyes out. If we break 134 in the SPY, I will be certainly more confident putting a little more money to work. But until we get some sort of break in either direction, this here would be uh, a line in the sand for me. All right, well, that's it for now. I'm going to have some trades for you. Tomorrow, weekly options expire, so we're going to have some more excitement. We'll see how to trade it. I'll have probably another video tonight. If not, I'll do a post on the blog. This is UPB from OptionMillionaires.com. We also have classes coming up. I'll be doing a live trading class tomorrow at 1 p.m., just past lunchtime. Feel free to join me at OptionMillionaires.com. It'll be a live trading class. UPB here. Take care. I hope you were on the right side of all the manipulation today. And if not, maybe tomorrow. Goodbye.